Hi everybody, this is Lesson 11, Day 2 Teaching Tips, and on the board right now I've gotten the written or the oral warm-up, uh, however you wish to do it, and it has to do with octaves, because yesterday in Forbidden Pattern, we worked hard on octaves, and um, I asked a lot of questions when I taught it, when I would sing things like, do, 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 I would ask, is that an octave? Do, mi, do, is that an octave? And they would answer, and that was my way of distracting them uh, and keeping them uh, remembering what an octave was. So that is the warm-up of the day. And then at the end of the warm-up, I ask questions about uh, what our new habit is um, that we have to do before we do chaos. Um, and, of course, that's singing the scale um, to establish the tonality. And then our group rhythm practice today is quite difficult. Um, we're going to have them do it, of course, with the whole rests. Uh, there's a lot of rests, and I'm going to let them do it with the shushes first. And then afterwards, I'm going to take um, and ask them if they can challenge themselves and try to do the exercises without the shushes, trying to get them to be as competent in rhythm and keeping the steady beat as possible. And then after that, we're going to play a forbidden pattern using um, high soul, low soul, and do. Again, working on the octaves. And then I'll have them sing the scale and do their sight singing example. And the sight singing example today is a 2-4 uh, example. And um, yesterday, one of the things that I did that I'm not sure was on video was that I um, talked to them about how difficult it is to combine rhythm and pitch. And I compared it to uh, rubbing your belly and tapping your, uh, or patting your head. And I'm also a tap dancer, so I did like, um, I said, really, it's more like this, and I did tap dancing too, um, rubbing and all of that. But anyway, whatever drives home the point that it's uh, really important that they're focused during this time when they're trying to combine pitch and rhythm at the same time. That's going to be what makes them successful, and that's what we want. And so that is your, uh, your teaching tips for Lesson 11, Day 2.